They want to crash into an asteroid. SpaceX News, NASA and Elon Musk team up for this asteroid crash mission. Luke Hawker of Express UK reports NASA is teaming up with SpaceX and together they will launch one of its most daring missions is because of their Earth protection mission to protect humanity from a destructive extinction level impact event to save humanity from an apocalyptic wipeout. Let's remember that this has happened quite a few times in the past, wiping out almost all life. The space agency has instructed the help of Elon Musk and his uh, spaceship company with the first ever attempt to deflect an asteroid by purposely crashing into it. This is the asteroid uh, redirect or deflect mission at an astonishing cost of 53 million pounds, which is 69 million dollars. The double asteroid redirect test, DART for short, will aim to divert any asteroid which threatens the Earth's atmosphere. DART will launch a Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in June of 2021. Let's remember that one of the asteroids that is going to be coming very close to Earth is Apophis, and uh, they have to do whatever they can to get the technology to be able to save Earth from a, an asteroid impact, obviously. And of course, it's not just Elon Musk and NASA of the United States that should be paying for this. They should be getting together worldwide and uh, pooling their interests and their resources in order to do this in a much faster and uh, more feasible way. If they only have two people backing such a thing, that's not enough, in my opinion. By October of 2002, 22 that is, the spacecraft will attempt to crash into a Didi moon, which is 550 foot wide, that's 165 meters, going at a speed of 13,500 miles per hour, or six kilometers per second. The collision is expected to take place when the asteroid comes about 11 million kilometers at 6.8 miles from Earth and its aim is to, of course to redirect the course of the asteroid. Now to put the distance in perspective the moon is 240,000 miles away from us and the sun is 93 million miles away. So, uh, 6.8 million miles, when the rock comes within 6.8 million miles of Earth, that's pretty close, don't you think? The moon is 240,000 miles. So, close enough, the asteroid coming that close, what can I tell you, uh, to deflect it, uh, crash into it, what is going to be in that... Um, missile? Is it going to be nuclear material? Is it going to be, what is it? Um, now the collision is expected to take place when the rock comes 6.8 million miles from Earth. The mission will also target another object which is scientifically known as a moonlet. As NASA states, it's more typical of the size of asteroids that could pose a more common threat hazard to Earth. NASA said the DART spacecraft will achieve the kinetic impact by deliberately crashing itself into the moonlet at a speed of approximately 6 kilometers per second with the aid of an onboard camera and sophisticated autonomous navigation software. The collision will change the speed of this moonlet in its orbit around the, moon, the main body by a fraction of 1%, enough to be measured using telescopes on our Earth. Elon Musk shared his delight on this news and he said on Twitter, thanks one behalf on, on behalf of SpaceX team and he added, we love NASA. Okay, and this comes as Mr. Musk SpaceX 
sent the world's most powerful rocket on its final commercial flight on Thursday. The SpaceX launch delivered a Saudi Arabian satellite into space, and for the first time ever, all three Falcon Heavy rocket boosters returned to Earth after the launch. Musk shared photos of the landing on Twitter, saying the Falcons have landed. Meanwhile, NASA wrote on Twitter, Congratulations to SpaceX on Monday, successful launch and landing of the Falcon Heavy rocket. So from our iconic launch pads at NASA Kennedy, we will continue to support the growing commercial space economy. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.